The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. And they'll go for it. Lance. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Go, Reed. Go. Alert. Alert. Ready. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And this is caught. That's Watkins. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. It's a gain of four that time. And the Eagles are going to have a first down. Running right, here's Sanders. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Hey, 
set up to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps, and the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Second and six, just inside the 30. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Now Lance going to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get him going. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Working from the gun, Lance. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Here we go, On first down, Lance. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayu. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, it's Lance. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. The kick by Gold is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to three. So that kick gives them their first points of the game CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They've struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Yeah. 
They're just going to run it here up the middle. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Fields it right around the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because yeah. most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. 52 Braxton. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. N'Kobe Dean in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Ready, break. Lance and company going on fourth down. Open man is Juwan Jennings. And he is going to have the Niners first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. It goes as a pickup of 23. And that leads to a San Francisco first down. Here's Lance. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little game. Second down, McCaffrey. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I did notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and that will force a turnover on downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Hurts. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. 
One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. Touchdown, Eagles. Dallas Goddard, 26 yards. And the Eagles take a three touchdown lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Second and ten here as we roll along in quarter number three from Santa Clara. And Lance now to throw. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Here's Hurts to throw. It's complete to Brown, right side. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available go, because Jack. sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. 50 But first down, Hurts. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great... I just scraped it off the top, turned it on the road, on the dirt, on the block. Homies already sold, I don't work by 10 o'clock. Went too deep in the streets, felt it, baby, the men's alive. Tweet, 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 tweet. Tell me what I gotta do. Pull up in a bucket crew. One for me and one for you. Yeah, like with the roof. I'm off the chain, don't cut me loose. Yeah, I'm off the chain, I'm off the noose. Yeah, get them picked off Bentley white like cotton. Residential, so good, my doors don't gotta lock them. Watch the dirty money, what I see. I miscount cause I'm off a... Yeah, this bigger than a damn proxy. Call my... He said copy, get that pluck like a boogie. I like riches, hit like nookies. You ain't scared of no, but you scared to put on your hoodie. Man, my like like Woody. I just scraped it off the top. Cut it off the road, off the dirt, off the block. I was already sold, out of work by 10 o'clock. Too deep in the streets, felt it, baby, the mental line. 
Carrots on my neck, my boy. That a hundred bunny rabbits trying to get my boy. From the cabbage, I collect my boy. Heard you, this gorillas. Let me nothing silly. You regret my boy. Cause we got banana on the my boy. And I can send it in a text, my boy. Thumbs up or the emoji with the flex, my boy. Personalize every threat, my boy. Toll free. That's the wreck, my boy. And if you need a couple, I'm the connect, my boy. Off the top. I just scraped it off the top. Cut it off the road, off the curb, off the block. I was already sold, I don't work by 10 o'clock. Too deep in the streets, felt the pain, but it meant a lot. When they hush, calls, the world. In the presence of the realist essence I've been serving lessons since the days of my adolescence On the Cypress block, young buck holding the, holding the Like we knew it all, not afraid to do it all Matter of fact, I look back and do it all Like I remember the haters say the game will ruin y'all What's that to me? Don't give up, give up about a hater Let them, let them like the, like the in my paper <laughs> They call me big dog riding with the hillbilly Cube bone saying with the lip Really became a boss many years back when I'm gone. Give me, give me, pull your tears back. We put the bang and bang and produce, 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 produce. You, you, you got no chance of hanging. They took the tails when you're flipping the quarter. We ain't slowing down, we crashing through the border. border, border, border. <laughs> Let the rhythm hit them, cause when you feel it in your soul, let the sound system, let turn it up, up, a little louder, turn it up, up, a little louder, turn it up, we never turn it down, universal sound, when we move the pound, take a look around, when we touch the town, not the way something. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the Caesars Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New Orleans Saints. Jake Elliott ready to get this one started. And we are underway from the Superdome. Let's take it in at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. the 30 it'll be second down yeah i don't know if it's exactly a win-win but if you're on offense you'll take that kind of a run all right it was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage and frankly they're pretty close to staying on schedule on and oh right away he lost the football and they are going to take over right there at the 22 yard line with no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect all the receivers in their patterns. It's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, uh, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. First and ten, it's Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. 
And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 18 yards there, and it'll be first and goal. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Sanders fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so, and one of my favorite coaches you say, son, if you can darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Sanders again, pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Brandon, now we find out what their definition of commitment is. They've run it on the first two plays. Do they come back and do it again? They're that much closer to getting into the end zone. Yeah, inching closer and really knocking on the door now. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel they would come back and try it on fourth down. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Under pressure, they got him again. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now Dalton with the first and ten. And the catch made by Johnson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. That's good for the Saints. He releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Another chance for Dalton. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. 
Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll make the score 14 to 0. Eagles 14. Saints nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. Of course, do no harm. But right now, they're arming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Billings. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Dalton sets up play action. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. That's sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. It's now third down. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. set of downs started. They need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Hurt sets up to throw it. And got it. Got it. Touchdown, Eagles. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Eagles have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, pardon? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. Or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they will continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Dalton's throw there taken in by Smith. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. Third down from the gun, Dalton. They'll get this out to Kamara. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You get a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. 
Dalton's throw complete there to Johnson. And they're going to get this up to midfield. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by Kaiser White. You know he can fly to the ball, and he showed it there. On second and 12, Dalton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Put the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up, so the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. They'll try to pass on fourth down. Dalton. And this one complete to Smith. Touchdown, New Orleans! Traquan Smith, 52 yards! And the Saints' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Will Lutz on for the point after. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Big plays are starting to become the trend here in this first half, and everything that they've tried has worked. And there's another example right there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. In motion comes the tight end left. A give running left. It's Sanders. Brought down at the 20. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your rush. Second and seven, Hurts. And this is going to be intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Saints are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Well, Brad, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to get to the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because... What's done is done. Let's get him next time out. There, D gets the INT. Now, what can Dalton do? Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. 
They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. The second down attempt there knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing, Dalton. And that is incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he's fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field goal range now at the 27-yard line. Dalton, first and 10. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Second and 10 now from the 27. And Dalton to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long. And they certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. So Dalton now. He's got Smith here. Pass the 20. Touchdown, New Orleans. Traquan Smith with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Lutz good on the extra point. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And the Saints pressure gets him. One down for a sack. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So after the sack here, second and 14. Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Throwing his hurts. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles would extend their lead here just before halftime. 
Well, CD, you know, any time they get close to the red zone, he is such a threat, and there he is again already, his second touchdown of the ball game. And I know it's probably a little bit of a failing on my part, but you know I watch a game through defensive eyes, and I don't understand what the coverage was doing there. When he headed out deep, they should have adjusted and flowed towards him. Instead, they left him out there and gave him a chance to make a big play, and of course he did exactly that. His size, speed, and versatility makes him a top target in any game. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've been lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Looking here for Smith downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. underway and no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback the Eagles offense set to begin their next drive as this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half Charles remember that first half good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that they operate off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. First and ten for Dalton. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. So nothing doing there, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. They had a great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Passing, it's Dalton. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? They'll try on fourth. Here's Dalton. Got an open man. It's Alave. And the Saints are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I didn't like the play call. I loved it. Running situation for sure on fourth and short. They got the defense to commit too many men in the box to stop the run. And have the guts to go for the pass instead. And as a result, they're set up first and goal. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Second down and goal, Dalton. That is caught, Traquan Smith. Touchdown, Saints. Four yards 
yards on the touchdown grab. And the Saints take advantage of the field position on the turnover to cash in for six. Alonzo looked to add the extra point. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. Sent to begin their next drive. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. But they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. On first and ten, it's Hurts. He's got a man complete. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. Now Sanders. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Second down, back to Sanders. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-oh, -oh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's Hurts to throw. He's got Watkins on the out route. Touchdown, Eagles! Quez Watkins from 13 yards out. And the Eagles will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rap, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Elliott Good on the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And 
The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got more of a rev up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, playing the same tempo, and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Looking to throw again on second down. Don't crossing route catch made by Johnson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. On first and 10, here's Andy Dalton. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn go, out just go. okay. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Boy, another big play late here for offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for them during this game. On first down, Hurts. And he delivers a strike complete to Watkins. Touchdown! Quez Watkins with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. They made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. And here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Now Dalton with a first and 10. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score?
Yeah, that my Brooklyn, cause he 